The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the tile screen tool. Typically, when you first load a CT study into KPAX, you'll only see one image displayed, and this image will be the first image in the first stack to the left. In this tutorial, I will show you how to display multiple images at the same time. Thus, we can go from one image to the maximum. 16 images are a matrix of 4x4. Four four. In this screen, we're actually looking at all 11 stacks that I could pick from at the top of my screen. To go from one screen, which is here, to 16 screens or any makeup of the 16 possible screens, the first thing I got to do is move my cursor to the bottom of the computer screen until the pop-up menu of the tools appears. Then I move my cursor to the tile screen icon. I click on it and then I had the menu for tile screens and I will pick in this case a one by three, no, a three by one arrangement. Typically, when you are learning to read two-dimensional CTs, it is best to display three tile screens in order to see axial, coronal, and sagittal sections. Once the computer has set up the screen into three different tiles, then you have to load in the axial, coronal, and sagittal sections. So I'll start right here with the number nine image stack click on it and drag it to the far left. And this is where I will display my axial sections. Then I will go to the very end to image number 11, which is T-spine sagittal, and I'll click on it and drag it to the middle tile screen. I'll scroll through it using my scroll on my mouse until I'm in the middle of the sagittal section. Then I will go to the very first left-hand um, image stack, click on it, and pull it all the way to my right tile screen. And once again, I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to get to the middle of the coronal section. Now notice something, that I can only have one active tile screen at a time. Right now, it's the coronal sections. Let's move over to the left, to the first tile screen, click on it, now it will be the axial sections that are active. And I can scroll through all 266 or whatever it is uh, axial sections. Now you notice something. As I scroll through these axial sections, there are yellow lines in the sagittal and coronal. That shows you where the axial section is taken in these other two image uh, stacks. If I go to my sagittal section, click on it to activate the middle tile screen. When I scroll through that screen, you notice that the yellow line goes through the axial and coronal. So I can tell exactly where the sagittal section is taken. To see this line, or to get rid of this line, I move my cursor all the way to the left until a menu pops up and you see lines. If I turn lines off, you notice that there are no lines on the screen. If I want to activate the reference lines, I move my cursor to the left, click lines, and the lines appear. This will end the tutorial on the tile screen tool.